Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do another giveaway! Today we are gonna be giving away another product. You probably can't figure out what it is. We're gonna tell you more about it later and how you can get entered to win as a big thank you as we're getting close to 100,000 subscribers. This is my way to say thank you to you guys for putting up with me for all these years, all these videos. Thanks so much for your support. So make sure you stick around until later. We'll tell you how to win. As always, we are proud to be sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. If you're feeling kind of tippy side to side, Bora can make a big difference. Make sure you check them out. Just Google Bora Wheel Spacers. We don't sell them, you buy directly from them. Hey, and if you'd be so kind, I'd love it if you'd smash that like button, hit that subscribe button as well if you want to see more tractor videos and be in the know about future giveaways. And if you're looking for something for your tractor, check out goodworkstractors.com. Okay, so let's cover the benefits of core aerating to begin with, talk about the features of the plugger in general, and then give you a little bit of a field test so you can see how this works in action. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about Dirt Dog pluggers, okay? I love these things. I love the name Dirt Dog, first of all. I'd like to mention that. Absolutely love that. It's a great name. These things are made in America down in Georgia. Another customer of mine turned me on to the Dirt Dog products last winter, I think it was, maybe early spring, whatever, it was a little while ago. And so the actual core plugger was the product that they were buying from them, wanted to know if I was a dealer for them. I had never heard of them, had to do some research, had some conversations, and here we are all these months later, I'm now a dealer, not only for their pluggers, but for their entire range, their entire lineup of equipment that they sell. You guys know I look long and hard, far and wide. As much as I search, I don't always know about products like this one here, so I'm so thankful that you guys do reach out to me and let me know about things that are working well for you. I'm pretty picky. I've got that trifecta of a good competitive price, good features, and good quality. It's all got to come together and I choose not to carry all sorts of products because they just don't fit those parameters. I feel like if I would buy it and use it, then I'm going to be completely comfortable selling that to you. So we've talked about plugging before and this is the best time of year to plug. You can see the leaves starting to fall down. It's getting to be mid-September. This is when you really want to do your lawn renovations. You don't want to do it in the middle of summer. Spring, early spring is the second best time, but this is this is ideal right now. You know, as temperatures are going to start to drop, except for today, it's, it's, I'm sweltering out here right now, but temperatures start to drop, the ground's going to hold some more moisture, so it's going to make it easier uh, to plug as well. But what that's going to do is it's going to loosen up the soil. Now, there's going to be two different types of aerators. You're going to see a plugger type, which is going to have like a hole in it. It's going to actually pull out a plug of soil or kind of kick it out and then you're gonna see spikes or knives you'll hear them called I'm not a big fan of those so the knives or the spikes are going to like be a, a stick or just a, a rod that just shoots down into the ground and it's not pulling anything back out so it's just shooting down into the ground and that's compressing dirt further in every direction whereas a core plugger is going down into the ground and then pulling out some soil and so all the soil that's around that hole then has some breathing room it can kind of expand and it's going to soften a little bit so it's going to ease compaction it's also going to let nutrients uh, whether that's fertilizer or rain or even some sunlight get down through some of the thatch as well and just help the grass, the turf, be a lot healthier. There's a big debate whether you should leave the core plugs on your lawn and let them dissolve or if you want to rake them all up or sweep them all up. I've always felt it's actually just best just to leave them on your lawn. We did do a video picking them all up with a sweep all sweeper uh, just to prove the point of how effective that sweeper is and if you have a golf course or some certain application where you don't want to have that unsightly look for a couple of weeks then yeah sweep them out and, and get them out of the way. Otherwise they're going to dissolve on their own naturally within two or three weeks. You don't need to worry about picking them all back up unless you're going for like a super super, super flat yard. Another tool you can use if you do have the plugs all over the lawn and kind of a natural sequence would be to use a core aerator and then get your dethatcher out. We sell those, they hook up to the three point as well. We've done some videos on them too, but you could not only dethatch and kind of scarify or rough up the turf uh, for overseeding in the fall, but you could also go through and break up some of those plugs as well. Okay, let's get into the features all about this core plugger. These are gonna come in 48, 60, and 72 inch widths. Uh, we can get them in green or orange or other colors as well, but we're gonna to try to stock green and orange as much as we possibly can. If you wanna get another color, blue, red, yellow, we can order those in, but given the current <laughs> climate that we have right now, you're gonna to wanna to order that well in advance of when you need it. It's not gonna be a quick turnaround but the green and the orange are typically the most popular that we're asked about. Uh, so a couple cool features about this, you're gonna see this hub right here is independent from this hub, from this hub, from this hub. So when you're turning, say you're, you're turning to the left, the inside is gonna need to spin or turn 
I think at a faster rate, it's gonna to wanna to turn at a different rate than the outside is, either faster or slower. And if you're turning at the exact same speed, then you're likely to rip up a lot of your ground. So that's the benefit of having the independent hubs. So you'll see, since they are independent hubs, they're gonna have individual grease cirques, four of them all along here. These are hardened steel, three quarter inch spoons. You're gonna see four of them on each flange and they are bolted on. So if you break one off or bend it or whatever happens, you can just replace individual spoons. So these come with two parking stands. We've got ours turned upside down since we're gonna go ahead and use it here pretty soon, but you can rotate them the other way. And it's nice to have two, one on the front and the back so it doesn't tip over either way. Uh, this is gonna be a weight tray that's all on the top. This is welded in, it's a solid floor. Uh, you've seen some that are gonna have slots or slats. You gotta put a piece of uh, wood in there or put big cinder blocks or something to kind of overlap or reach over a couple of different slats. So this is nice to have a solid tray. So the weight tray that's on here is beneficial because you typically want to add more weight. Uh, the more weight you can add on here, the better in my opinion. You want to get a nice deep core and you know, these weigh, I think it's about 170 pounds for the 48, 200 for the 60, and 220 or 230 for the 72, some, somewhere around there. So you can add a lot more weight on here, and that's the same for any plugger out there, and really get a lot deeper core plugs. I typically like to get at least two inches, maybe three inch plugs if I can, but your max depth is really just going to be controlled by the overall length of the spoon. This is going to be category one, three point compatible. It's also quick hitch compatible. Alrighty guys, I know you are curious on how you can win a Dirt Dog Plugger. I'm gonna tell you how right now. We are giving away a CPG 48, either in green or orange. I'll let you pick that, one or the other. The way you enter is to leave a comment down below on the YouTube video only. So we ship to the US, the continental US. We don't ship to Canada or Alaska or Hawaii right now. So you gotta be in the US, gotta leave a comment on YouTube. You have to leave your comment by Sunday, September 19th by 12 noon Eastern time to be included in the drawing. We're gonna do the drawing shortly after that. We'll post the winner on the community tab on our YouTube channel as well. We've already done this a couple of times with a dethatcher and a set of suitcase weights and a weight bracket. So to pick the winner completely at random, we just use an online YouTube random comment generator picker winner thing. So we just plug in the video URL press enter and it goes through all the comments and randomly selects one. So make sure you are watching your comments. We are gonna to respond to the comment shortly after that as well as putting it on the community tab. So we'll reach out to you. You gotta have you verify your YouTube identity so we know we have the right person and then we'll get it packed up and shipped your way. Well, good luck. We are gonna to get to plugging this lawn so you can see how this thing works in action. We're gonna add some weights to it. So watch the weights that we put in here. I'm gonna use suitcase weights, we have those. We're gonna see if the 70 pounders fit. If they can lay flat in here, that'd be great. Otherwise, we'll use 41 pounders.
Okay, so there's a good look at the Dirt Dog Core Aerator in action, working just like it's supposed to. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this done. A couple sort of random thoughts that a lot of you guys ask frequently and that I point out too. I've left my mower deck on, and the reason for that is even though I'm using a three-point attachment, we're on the lawn, right? So there's not a bumpy, rocky surface. I raised it up to the highest setting, so that way even when I raise and lower the three-point, the deck is still staying a little bit higher. But this is one of those few exceptions to the rule where it's okay to leave your mower deck on if you're not actually mowing. Typically you want to take it off if you're going to be outside of your lawn or if you're using your loader and your three-point, but again, an exception to the rule. And so this is actually the new mowing machine for here at the house. I have been mowing for the last year and a half or so uh, with a fairway mower, mowing it about three quarters of an inch long. And a month ago, this grass was three quarters of an inch tall. I'm just transitioning out of that. I don't have time to keep up with it. My son was uh, mowing it a couple times a week for me and he's back to school now. So the lawn has not been maintained well this year. We have fungus all over it. Still dealing with ant hills, a lot of different issues. So you see some bare spots and now is the right time to do, you know, maybe not a renovation if you don't want to go that far, but it's time to get things back in shape. September is the best month of all, especially here in Michigan. So don't forget the contest runs through September 19th, Sunday, 12 noon Eastern time. If you're watching in the future beyond that, sorry you missed out. Hopefully this video was still informative and entertaining for you. If you want to get yourself a core plug aerator, we can ship it to you. We ship all over the country, goodworkstractors.com. So if you did enjoy it, I'd love to get that thumbs up from you. Hit the subscribe button to see more. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.